Hunger hormones come in many shapes and sizes with varying potencies and effect, increasing and decreasing our drive to eat. One of the most potent is secreted in our brain, known as a duty-related peptide, or AGRP. I'd like to spend some time breaking down a scientific review of AGRP and how it functions, what it does, how it relates to other hunger hormones, and other information. So let's get into it. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. The information I'll be providing comes based on a scientific review of the literature, which I'll have linked for you as well as my detailed notes and any amendments that may be needed after this content's publishing. So, as I mentioned in the introduction, AGRP, which stands for a duty related protein or a guti related protein, but we'll be using AGRP for short, is a protein, a molecule released from the brain. Specifically, neurons, brain cells known as AGRP NPY neurons. However, AGRP is also secreted from other areas of the body, like the adrenal glands. AGRP, when released from these AGRP NPY neurons, binds other neurons, leading to a further signal to increase hunger, thereby stimulating eating. So, AGRP is considered a pro-eating hormone, and it also has effects in other ways as well, including reducing metabolism. This stands to reason as this hormone aims to re-establish a higher energy state of the body, increasing the intake while reducing expenditure. However, its own regulation can get pretty complex. Ultimately, there's a master hormone that controls AGRP secretion from AGRP NPY neurons, known as leptin. If leptin is high, it binds these neurons and inhibits AGRP release. However, if leptin is low, the break on AGRP is released, allowing it to be synthesized and released. When AGRP is released, it outcompetes and inhibits the release of an anti-hunger, anti-consumption hormone known as melanocyte stimulating hormone, MSH, by binding the same receptor on the downstream cells as MSH, and also directly inhibiting MSH by binding the MSH producing cells known as POMC neurons and other anorectic neurons, brain cells. It also stimulates the release of other hunger hormones. However, leptin is not the only player in controlling AGRP. Rather, there are other hunger hormones that play in concert. For example, ghrelin, which is secreted from the stomach when the stomach is empty, and also cues hunger, is known to bind the hypothalamus of the brain, especially the aforementioned AGRP NPY neurons, and directly stimulate the release of AGRP. Other hormones like cortisol can also stimulate AGRP release. Meanwhile, peptide YY, yet another hunger hormone, has the opposite effect. It is secreted from the intestines after food consumption and binds the AGRP releasing neurons in the brain, inhibiting AGRP release. The same is true of elevated glucose, blood sugar, after a meal. Ultimately, there are many factors that control AGRP, some exciting it and others inhibiting it. But the big picture, there is a leptin-dependent mechanism and several leptin-independent mechanisms. Overall, AGRP is a hunger-inducing hormone primarily secreted from the hypothalamus of the brain, but also found in other areas of the body. AGRP is one of the many hunger hormones and has a series of effects, but this review is focused on its impact on hunger. So I hope this proved informative for you and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. Thank you.